From Maldives, uh, we are like focusing on water education for informed and ethical voting. Um, the contents of this presentation I'll be looking into will be introduction to Maldives and current water education, water education plans for the future which we, are, which we Maldivians are planning, and a brief, brief conclusion. And uh, with that, Introduction to Maldives. Uh, this is a map. This map shows uh, the constituencies, how the constituencies are distributed. The picture is very like stretched down so that I could fix it in the slide. Um, I'd like to highlight one. At, I've taken one at all from it, and. Uh, Maldives is geographically dispersed islands. There are around uh, 1,190 islands total uh, in Maldives. And uh, within those islands, there are only 120 islands which is inhabited, They're where people live. And uh, this island, this atoll, which is zoomed out, is uh, Halif at all, and its constituencies is five constituencies. It has constituencies are divided by the number of population that is 5,000. Each constituency will be having a population of 5,000. So, um, this is one island. From the picture, you can see an island of Maldives which is, uh, that, that is one single island, and there are a lot of islands like that. And uh, those islands do, for administrative purposes, in, for in easy administrative purposes, uh, it is divided into 20 administrative divisions for easy management of, then, Constituencies, as I have explained, I will go a little bit faster. Water education, current water education for, like, before going to water education, civic, or, uh, civic education, I'll go through. <laughs> civic education, civic education program for the civic education program in collaboration with UNDP, we have. Uh, developed four modules for civic education, which is democracy, rights, and roles, and responsibilities, as well as uh, the citizens, and um, the white vote, and these things included. So we are conducting these training sessions to the students, school students, as well as NGOs, vulnerable areas, and political parties, as well as atolls, and islands. islands and islands are a, cup, um, a subdivision of the whole country into atolls. And uh, water education, for water education, we use the printed media as well as TV radio programs, which is continued, continuously being processed um, on, a, on daily and weekly basis. And uh, social campaign, social media campaigns, because Maldives is um, quite educated people are there. Like um, the educational level, the literacy level of Maldives is um, comparatively high. And um, the people adopting the techno new technological uh, improvements is uh, increasing. So with that, uh, the social media campaigns we find it quite effective in Maldives. And uh, we also conduct road events as uh, to gather the inf knowledge and information from the, from, from the political parties as well as the stakeholders and also to give them what they, the awareness messages and uh, the materials that we need. Um, here are some of the water education local council. This is a post. This, these are some posters and present. Um, 
banners that we have we have done for the local council election 2017, which is going to be conducted, uh, held in uh, January next year, 2017. So for that, and the toll-free number, it is uh, a toll-free number which 1414 is a toll-free number where you can, where the people, they can call about the registration. Um, during the elections, uh, we take these toll-free numbers and toll-free number and they can call at any time and uh, it's a 24-hour working station. So they can call or they can text message where they can get back a text message. Uh, more like a construct, uh, construction jungle or something like that. Um, what education plans are for? We are having, we are, we are on, at the time being, for the time being, we are on the process of making water education strategy for the next upcoming five years. And with the help of UNDP, and we are working on that uh, water education strategy, but still, uh, yet it's not finally, fully completed. Uh, and uh, we are planning to use signage boards um, throughout the country so that uh, we can deliver our messages easily through the signage boards. And uh, also we are planning to come up with a mobile application through which the, the, when they, they download iOS as well as uh, Android users can use this application and get the information and uh, um, the messages from elections commission as well as the stakeholders from our side the messages that we want to deliver, we can easily reach them. Because uh, they're from the age of 12 or 13 onwards, um, there is no Maldivians, we can say, there are a few number of Maldivians who doesn't use smartphones. So we can easily reach them, the youngest as well as the elderly people. And for the conclusion, I'd like to say that um, this this conference, through this conference, I have we 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 have uh, get got to learn a lot from you. As we are going for electronic voting, we are starting starting to go for electronic voting as well. We are in a process that we need to learn a lot from you. That because uh, you have been implementing different strategies and different varieties of uh, plans and strategies uh, for a long period of time, and we are new to it. So we got to learn a lot from you, and hopefully we'll be implementing a different varieties of uh, ideas from we take from here. And that will be all for my presentation. I finished a little bit earlier. Thank you. <laughs>